Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this fast photo shuffle slide effect in Premiere Pro. So here inside of Premiere Pro, the first thing I want to do is to create a folder where I'm going to dump in all the pictures that I'm going to use to create my photo slideshow. So I'm going to come over to my project panel over here and under this new folder icon here, I'm going to click this to create a new bin then I'm going to give it a name now I'm going to double click this folder to open it now to place my pictures inside here I'm going to double click this portion and here you can see the pictures I want to bring in so I'm just going to hold on to control and select all the pictures I want to use and hit open and automatically Premiere Pro is going to bring them into the pics folder now I'm going to change this to an icon view over here, that way I can see them more boldly. Let me change this to assembly from editing, I'm going to move to assembly, so it's going to be easier for you guys to see it. Now the reason why I prefer assembly is because this way I can rearrange the pictures. I can make any pictures go to number one, make any picture go to number two. Alright guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to hold on to Ctrl A to hold all the pictures. Now the reason for this is, firstly I want to set the duration for all the pictures. So I'm going to right click and move over to speed duration and change the duration. I want this to be really fast. So you can see that my normal duration is 4 minutes 30 seconds. So I'm going to change this to 8 seconds. So I'll change it to 08 and now hit OK. The next thing I'll do is to drag all these pictures onto my timeline here. Now if I hit play here, you will see them changing really fast. Now this might not be fast enough for you or it might be too fast for you. You can always readjust the pictures to your liking. The next thing you need to do is to go over each photo to make sure that they are all on the right frame. So you can move from each photo and set all to frame size to be sure that they are on the right frame. Set to frame size. Set to frame size. So you can see that this needs adjustment so i'll just move over to effects and under effects i will scale this properly just to make sure that they are all properly centered so you go through all of your pictures so i'll switch back to editing go over to the effects library and search for the transform effect now I'll move back to the first picture over here and drag this transform effect on top of it now you move over to the effects control tab over here and you can see the transform effect that we have added. So what I want to do is to animate this effect so that it starts bigger and gets smaller. So let's start the scale on that transform here at 150. And now we need to adjust the anchor point so that it looks better in frame. So you come over to anchor point here and I will adjust this value. And now we can hit on toggle animation here on the scale and move this keyframe to the beginning. Now the next thing we will do is to turn the scale back to 100 for the end position and you will notice that there is a black bar here so we can now go back to the anchor point and move the anchor point to the top. So what I will do is to select this keyframe and select is in. Now I will drag this keyframe to the end. So you come over to your timeline here and copy this first picture here by right clicking and hitting copy at the top. Next thing you do is to select all these other pictures over here and you right click to paste attributes. But the only attribute we want to paste here is the transform attribute. So we are going to leave motion and time remapping and hit OK. Now you might see that in a few of the photos we need to make a few adjustments and this is because they have different resolutions and they have different frame sizes. So I'm going to go through them one after the other to look for anyone that we need to adjust. Well, they all look okay to me. So I'll move back to the first picture here. So now let's play back with our transform zoom effect on these pictures. Alright, and that looks nice. So now I want to add some paper flip at the cut points. So I'm going to move over to my project panel here and I'm going to import a paper flip by hitting ctrl i 
all I need to do is to double click it and you can see all these wave forms. Now if I play it, you will hear what it sounds like. What I want to do is to select different portions of the clip where I want to isolate. So I can come over here and select this by hitting I and move past it a little bit and hitting O. Now if I select this icon here and drag it, I can import only that section into my timeline. So I'm going to reduce this and place it in between these cuts so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this to all the cuts all right i'm done guys so this is what it sounds like so next i'm going to bring in an ambient sound so i'm going to hit on ctrl i and select my background music open to bring it in and i'm going to place this under the next track below and what I want to do is to cut out this extended portion over here. So the next thing I want to do is to select my music over here. Move over to Essential Sounds. Under Essential Sound, I will select Ambience here and reduce the duration. Now hit play. The next thing we are going to do is to go over to editing and move back to our project panel. Now come over to this icon here, this new item icon and select it and I'm going to select new column meet and hit OK and I'll leave it at the black color and hit OK. Leave it at the name column mate and hit OK. Now I'm going to drag this above my pictures over here. Now this is optional by the way. I'll move back to effect control over here and I'll select this 4 point polygon mask. And you'll notice a 4 point polygon mask has been created here on my pictures. The next thing I would love to do is to come close to it to so when these double sided arrows are showing. And I'm going to hit on shift and drag it. Now come back to the first control here and select inverted. Now I'm going to come over to this mask expansion here and increase the expansion and this is going to create a curved like thin background. So if I click elsewhere you can see what we have created. Alright guys so if we go back to the beginning now and hit play you can see what we have created so far. And that's it guys, I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you guys and see you in my next video.